So you want to be a net runner and deal more damage than you should ever be allowed to deal in literally any single game ever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve that today. 125,000 damage. <laughs> You're going to be able to do more damage with this build than literally anything else in the game. And quite frankly, it's going to be so good that you probably will not want to use anything else in the game ever again. In this video, I will be going over quite a few things that will increase your damage substantially for everything you do in Cyberpunk 2077, but we're also going to be focusing on the Quick Hack Short Circuit, which is essentially going to double or even triple your DPS with anything in the game. It is ridiculous. Now, first thing we're going to go over is the attribute points and perk points that you need to spend to make this build absolutely ridiculous now the two main mandatory ones are going to be intelligence and cool intelligence is going to allow you to get the breach protocol and quick hacking that you need and then cool is going to get you a ton of damage really quickly now you can kind of tailor the other part of this build to your own personal play style you could even go full into body refle or reflexes if you want uh, but cool is just going to have a lot of really good bonuses that you're going to want. And we'll get into that here in just a second. Now, inside of intelligence, once you get this to level 20 for breach protocol, you definitely just want to get mass vulnerability quick hacks, uh, which will allow the network to take 30% more damage from quick hacks. This is going to increase your damage quite a bit. Then under quick hacking, we want to get bloodware to level three, uh, critical error to level one. Uh, we want to get all of plague. We need to get hacker overlord. And in conjunction with that, we need to get School of Hard Hacks and Bartmus's Legacy. This will allow us to craft and upgrade the quick hack uh, ability that we're going to be using predominantly with this build. Now, other than that, you're going to also want to get the Subliminal Message. So quick hacks deal 100% more damage to unaware targets. If you're going to run this stealthily, that's going to deal a ton of damage. Now, obviously, you're going to need Hacker's Manual as well. Now, when we go into the cool section here... Uh, if you're going to run the stealth build and you just want to be able to deal a ton of damage as well, this is cool is going to be the section you want to go into. So with assassin, we're going to deal 15% more damage to human enemies, which is, you know, pretty much almost all the enemies you're going to be fighting. Now we've got silent, but deadly. You're not farting around, but you are murdering everybody. Increases damage dealt by silenced weapons by 25% while sneaking. And then we're going to get strike from the shadows increases your critical chance by 15% while sneaking. Then we've got increased movement speed. And then here, upon entering combat, crit chance is increased by 50% for 7 seconds, which is actually really nice. Now we get into cold blood. This is where the majority of your perks are going to be spent, obviously. So you're going to want to pick up will to survive, which increases all of your res resistances by 5% per stack. Then you want to get increases max stack amount of cold blood by 1, uh, which is the uh, cold coldest blood, I think. And then cold and calculating. Landing a critical hit has a 25% chance of applying a stack for cold blood. So if you're running a crit build, you're just going to have max cold blood all the time. Now, when your health reaches 45%, you can get a full stack as well with that build. Uh, rapid blood flow increases health region inside and outside of combat by 100% per stack of cold blood. Then frozen precision increases headshot damage by 50%. That's a big bonus, especially when you're critting all the time. Uh, so, increases armor by 20% per stack of cold blood. Obviously, really good. Uh, reduces quick hack upload time by 2% per stack of cold blood. Then we've got uh, critical condition. Increases duration of cold blood by 10 seconds. And then uh, frosty synapses. Reduces quick hack cooldowns by 6% per stack of cold blood. And then over here, we've got unbreakable, which gives us another stack. So, all of these are definitely highly recommended. Although, you can adjust them for your own personal play style. Now, personally, I went into reflexes for the rest of this because I'm going to be using handguns. Uh, but if you decide to use um, assault rifles or shotguns or blades, you can spec into whatever you want for your own, for the weapons that you plan on using. Uh, but since I'm going to be using handguns, there's a lot of really good bonuses. Handguns are, quite frankly, just really OP in the game. So we picked up High Noon, OK Corral, which deals 50% more damage with pistols and revolvers. Um, then we've got the Attritional Fire... We've got uh, Rio Bravo, which increases the headshot damage multiplier by 30%. We've got Long Shot Drop Pop, because this comes in really handy, especially with smart weapons, to be able to get uh, headshots. 
And then uh, the grand finale, which is going to be used with one particular weapon to make it just absolutely redonkulous. So the last round in a pistol revolver clip deals double damage. We're going to get into that here in this video and why that's so good. And then we've got the Desperado increases damage. Now it's time we get into some of the cyberware that you're going to want to get. I've covered some cyberware previously, but there's one in particular that's going to be absolutely amazing no matter what build you're getting, and it can be gotten down here in Pacifica. Now, if you haven't been to this Ripper dock down on the west side before, I uh, highly recommend getting this as soon as possible. If you zoom into this location right here, there is a fast travel point at the West Wind Apartments, and then uh, you're going to want to go to this Ripper dock right here. Now, when you access his shit? inventory, the piece that we're looking for is going to be in the frontal cortex. And that is going to be the visual cortex support, which increases crit damage by 45%. Redonkulous. Now, next up, we got to get a new cyber deck. One of the best ones for this particular build is going to be in the downtown area. And I believe there's a fast travel point right nearby. Yeah, the closest one is going to be this one here at the pumping station. And then you're going to run to this cyber dock that's right here. Oh, as I was saying. Excuse me, sir. There we go. I want to buy stuff from you, please. So the cyber deck that we're looking for is the Netwatch Netdriver Mark V. Now, the reason we want this one is because it increases damage dealt by quick hacks by 30% which is really good. And it's $43,750. Sure, seven. I don't even know what I'm saying with my life. It's an amount of money that's not too bad. Now to the next cyber dock that we're going to want to go to is in Japantown. And if you fast travel to the Cherry Blossoms fast travel point, it's going to be very close. We're going to just go to this ripper dock right here. Now the particular item that we're looking for, it's actually really good, especially for any build. And that is going to be the Limbic System Enhancement, which will increase your critical chance by 25%. Obviously, you want to make sure to put it somewhere that doesn't overwrite the other one. There we go. Because now we have the 45% chance to increase the damage and the 25% increase the crit chance. Now for one of the most important parts of the build, the Quick Hack itself. Now this one can be purchased in Pacifica. No. And if you don't know where this Netrunner is, uh, it's very easy to get to. Uh, so it's going to be right down in here. There's a fast travel point nearby at the Baddies Hotel. And you just got to go right to this net runner here. Wait till I finish what I have to say. And the item that you're going to be getting in particular is the... Where'd it go? It disappeared. Oh my god, there it is. Uh, the short circuit quick hack. Now we can buy this rare version and then we can upgrade it too. Now upgrading it is where we're going to get all of our damage from. First thing we're going to need to do is upgrade it to the epic quality. And then the legendary version is where this extra damage is going to come from. Now when you first upgrade it, okay, so we need some more of these epic crafting components here. Now all of these upgrade materials can be gotten from the same woman that we were just talking to here in Pacifica. And uh, if you need to refresh the stock, if you've never done this before, in this particular area, it's like a safe area. So you need to get outside of the safe area before you can actually fast forward time. And all you need to do is skip 24 hours and then you can go back and buy all the crafting components you need to upgrade your quick hack. Now, the reason we want to upgrade this to the legendary quality is because, uh, well, one, it's going to deal 30% extra damage below a certain threat level, but also this right here. It's passive while equipped. Crit hits with any weapon. Apply this quick hacks tier 1 effect, which is going to be dealing moderate damage. Now, every single time we get a critical hit, this is going to add on to the damage we're already doing with any weapon in the game. And that's why it becomes incredibly OP. But now we're going to get a weapon that I really think is going to be amazing with this build. And I want to spread awareness of how you can actually make Skippy much much better so skippy is a smart weapon that actually talks and you can get it to do permanent headshot mode but we have to select a specific option when acquiring skippy so when you go to this location which is in the downtown area well, i guess it's in haywood rather and you zoom in on here there's a fast travel point that you might have that should be like right around here um but you want to go to this location here and inside of this alleyway, you're going to find Skippy. 
Now we'll skip to where we need to select a certain New option. Fingerprints detected. So this is where things get really important with Skippy. If you select Stone Cold Killer, after 50 kills, it's going to revert to Puppy Loving Pacifist. So what we want to do is we want to pick Puppy Loving Pacifist now in this menu. And then after 50 kills in that mode, Skippy will permanently go into Headshot Stone Cold Killer mode. So when you first pick up Skippy, make sure to select Puppy Loving Pacifist first. Uh... Now, once you get Skippy's 50 kills, uh, if you picked Puppy Loving Pacifist first, Skippy will then revert to Headshot Only mode, uh, which is where Skippy is really, really, really good, especially if you're spec properly. But after you get 50 kills, oh my god, we just one-shot that Cyber Psycho with Skippy's headshots because of the, uh, of the build we're using right now. It's ridiculously powerful. That Cyber Psycho didn't stand a chance. That was absurd. Uh, but yeah, Skippy can and will revert to headshot only mode. Now the thing is about this, Skippy will then eventually want to be turned in. But you do not actually have to turn in Skippy. And you can keep him forever. But he will yell bad uh, user over and over if you don't turn him in. Oh, we actually found the location where you can get an extra set of legendary mantis blades for free. Which comes in handy if you missed out on some of the first ones. Now, um, stealth is really where this can get kind of ridiculous. If I could actually hit somebody with it, that is. 59,000 damage from that headshot. Uh, but what's even better is, while we're doing 67,000 damage, this isn't even maxed out. Um... And we're not even seeing the damage that our Netrunner build is going to be doing because our stealth damage is really good. So let's do the Netrunner part of this. Oh my god. So every time we shoot somebody, our quick hack is going to go off and deal extra damage as well. Now not only does this work on these kinds of weapons, so we hit for 18,000, then our quick hack activated as well for another 17,000. For a total of every single time we shoot, it's... It's unfathomable because this works with every single weapon in the game. Even melee weapons, if you so desired. It's just going to basically double the amount of damage you're doing. Now, if you want to know where this location is in Haywood, it's right down here. And you're going to go to the roof where this assault in progress is. And then inside of this box here is going to be the Mantis Blades as well as where you complete it. So, uh, yeah, get yourself some free Mantis Blades. Let's see how they fare against Skippy. I don't even know if I can just shoot one time with Skippy to, uh, oh, 20, 26,000 damage with Skippy. Oh my god. What even happened? <laughs> oh no. All right. Oh god, I love 24,000 damage on that crit there. Jesus. All right. So yeah. You can see just how powerful that this is going to end up being. Quite frankly, once you start using this, it might break the game for you, and you might not want to use anything else in the game. Obviously, you can use it with any weapon, but good god.